Hi, and welcome back to the Travel Coach Network podcast. It is I, Sahara Rose DeVore, the founder of the Travel Coach Network and the creator and instructor of the Travel Coach Certification Program. This episode, I'm going to share with you five New Year's gets for your travel coaching business. These are five things that I want you to start getting and becoming more of in the new year. The first one is to be get authentic. I want to get it authentic in your business. Stop trying to sound like everyone else or do what they do just because it works for them or someone told you that this is the way that you should do it. Make 2023 your year of getting authentic in your business. So that means tapping into your own travel story. You're using your own travel experiences, your own purpose for travel in your travel brand. Sharing your beliefs around the value of travel. What is it that you believe in? What is it that you want people to know and believe in when it comes to travel? And it's your year of building a business that is true to yourself. Again, in your business, you can do and create and uh, anything that you want. It's really up to you. Don't try to structure yourself or be like someone else just because it has been proven to be done by them or that they coached you to do it that way. Your business is in your own hands and you can sculpt it to create the dream lifestyle and everything that you want. This is a year to get authentic and to ask yourself, what is your why for what you are doing as well? The next one is to get clear. I want you to stop trying to serve and reach everyone. Because remember, if you're trying to serve everyone or talk to everyone, your, your messaging is going to be so convoluted with so much um, fluff that because you're trying to suit everyone. You can't talk to everyone. You can't serve everyone. You have to narrow it down and speak directly to who it is that you are trying to reach. So make 2023 the year of getting clear on who you want to help and how you want to help them. Those are your revenue streams and the value that you provide in your brand. What are you offering people? How are you nurturing them? What stories are you telling them? How can, or do you have community? Do you have connection? Do you, can they access you to get guidance and help and ask questions? Um, get clear on what your messaging even is and who are you trying to help and service? Who are you trying to sell your service to? Or who are you trying to have work with you or buy your products or whatever it is you decide for your revenue streams? You Got to get clear on all of this so that you have a game plan and a strategy moving forward. The next one is to get loud. I want you to stop holding yourself back from spreading your own message. Share your your personal story, attract your ideal clients, provide value to your audience, and grow your brand. Make 2023 the year of pitching to be a guest on podcasts, maybe writing blogs and articles, being a guest in publications, maybe having your own blog and putting them out there. Pitching to media outlets, it's always one of my favorite things to do. Applying to be a guest speaker for events and sharing your ideas and your vision for your business with the right audience that it resonates with. Stop trying to censor yourself and keep yourself you know, hidden, your brand and your business is you. So people want to be able to learn more about you, connect with you, hear your stories. And that's really in the travel space, how you're going to get people to resonate with you anyways. Because if you listen to the episode that I talked about why we don't actually sell travel and what we're actually selling instead is a a transformation, a feeling, an outcome, a result, or something a lot more personal and emotional, because that's what travel is. It's personal and it's emotional. You need to put that into your messaging in your own authentic way. And that's what's going to attract versus have you a chase of clients. Then I want you to get visible. Stop hiding and start showing up. I know it can be very difficult. There's the world of social media. And again, build your business in a way that's authentic to you. Because people do dances on TikToks and and create uh, Instagram reels does not necessarily mean that you have to. You don't have to be a traveling YouTube star and post your travels all the time on there. Find what works for you. Find what you're interested in, what you're passionate about, how you want to share your messages, how you want to reach and attract your ideal clients. That is all up to 
what you want to do. Yeah, it's great. I would recommend for you trying different things to see if you like it, to see how it goes, to see how your audience uh, interacts and engages. But ultimately, find a system and uh, a way that really works for you and that you enjoy too. And that way you won't struggle as much to show up in your business. Your business and your brand rely on you to show up and to be known. Remember, no one can buy from you or work with you or tell about you to someone else if they don't know you exist, if they've never heard of you before. So make 2023 the year of getting on social media platforms that your ideal clients are on. So be strategic with which ones you show up on. Land media wins, put yourself out there, attend online or in-person events, become a sponge of information and insight, and being consistent in your content. Again, you don't have to overwhelm yourself when it comes to posting content, and you don't have to have the greatest uh, travel videos or inspirational posts, but you have to be consistent in what you're posting. Your audience will grow if you're speaking their language and you're speaking directly to their pain points, which is all really important, um, and then playing around with your different types of content, but showing up is essential. And then lastly, I want you to get connected. Stop keeping your to yourself. Even if you're a solo entrepreneur, you do not have to grow your business on your own. Connection is key to success in your travel business. So make 2023 the year that you engage in not only the Travel Coach Network community, but also have accountability partners, which we do offer in our network. Learn from mentors and experts, which we do bring into our network as well. People that inspire you, people who have done something you wanna do, people who have tried and failed and have now the, the lessons to teach you. Network at events, grow your relationships and connections with anyone who br will bring business, uh, value to your business. So I want you to consider these five gets for the new year. Get authentic, get clear, get loud, get visible, and get connected. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Travel Coach Network. Learn more about us at thetravelcoachnetwork.com. Send us a hello. We look forward to having you in our Facebook group, our TCN community, and hopefully having you as a guest on our podcast. You can find out more about joining our free Travel Coach Network Facebook community in the link in the show notes, as well as um, downloading your own free beginner's guide to travel coaching. If you know anyone who may be interested in travel coaching, please be sure to send them our way. We truly appreciate it. And until next time, my fellow wanderers, bye for now.